Prisha Shetty, have you, you know, as a, as a founder of an NGO that works among women who may often not want to speak out because of, fear, of the fear factor. Do you believe there is a fear factor that in that sense what the women wrestlers have done is unique in a way. They've used their special position as Olympic wrestlers in a way to break this Omerita code of silence. Undoubtedly, you know, uh, as uh, Brinda uh, so eloquently mentioned earlier, you know, under the Posh Act, when the uh, when you're accusing a person of sexual harassment who is the head of the institution, the Act mandates that then you cannot go to the ICC because the ICC at the end of the day is answerable to the head of the institution. You therefore must go to the LCC, right? Now, what are these locally established bodies? Who is presiding over these bodies? You can imagine... Can you explain to our viewers ICC and LCC? So under the Posh Act, any company or any institution that has more than 10 employees must institute an internal complaints committee, which then will uh, have an independent member from an NGO, which will have members who are employed by the organization, usually women, uh, who will look over any cases of sexual harassment that are reported by employees. Now, if the person you are alleging is harassing you is the boss of the company, then it could be said that, of course, the ICC will not be able to act in an independent capacity. Therefore, you direct the case to the LCC. Also, another provision within the POSH Act is if the crime that you are alleging is, that is committed against you also falls within the ambit of a crime under the penal code, right, the IPC, then the institution must help you with filing the complaint with the police because at the end of the day the institution is mandated to protect you. In this case, we are talking about a person who is the head of the federation, who is also an acting member of the Lok Sabha, a person who has four pending criminal charges against him and we must state what those charges are, right, of attempted murder, of rioting, of decating, a person who has self-proclaimed to kill a gunman in an interview and who is also tarnishing the name of the survivors by calling them uh, a political power play by saying that this is an dharna like mm -hmm. Shaheen Bagh that is being orchestrated against him. So this person who's been alleged of serious crimes of sexual harassment by multiple women is then going on record defaming the good name of these women. Here we must again ask... So you're saying, an inter you're saying therefore an internal panel needs to be appointed by possibly in this case the sports ministry, Brinda no Grover. internal panel. Your I'm saying the state must be accountable. The state to must be accountable, and therefore act. the state will have to carry out an inquiry. Now there's a seven-member IOA uh, committee which has been set up, Brinda Grover, with some distinguished names in it. Is that enough? I think time will tell. It's too early to say. What I do want to underline here are two things. I think what we, what is positive is. We saw not just the women wrestlers, we saw a lot of the men wrestlers mm. sitting in solidarity support. And I think that's an important breakthrough in our social consciousness. This is not a women's problem that will be handled by women. It's an issue which is going to trouble every uh, field, including sports. Secondly, 48 hours have passed. We have not seen any positive response, affirmative uh, confidence building response from the government. Mm -hmm. The MP, as has been rightly pointed out, is not only the head of the federation but is a member of parliament. Mm -hmm. There is no point in rhetoric from the political class unless women see actual action when an incident happens. This is in the public glare. The message is going out to women as a class across the country. You are going to sexual harassment, I believe today, is one of the biggest hurdles that women in this country face to progress. The seven member committee must have external, more external members who will be distinguished not only in the field of sports, but who understand gender, who understand law, and who will have impeccable credentials that they will be impartial. Only then will there be confidence now.